We've all seen these picket fences that people think are quaint and rustic and give a sense of easy living in a relaxed rural environment. But let's not forget the main purpose of a fence is to keep something in or something out or both. So this time on Handyman Corner, I'm going to show you how to turn your picket fence into a billboard that'll send a clear message to your neighbors and the world in general. First thing you want to do is take the pickets off there. All you need for that is a hammer. And maybe some wood glue. Okay, I, I know I said wood glue, but you knew I was kidding. Now you want to remount all your pickets on there using just one six-inch spike in each one and just held in one place so the picket can kind of pivot from there. And yeah, you can use a smaller nail if you want to. I prefer the bigger target, but hey, it's your thumb. Okay, I got all my pickets mounted on there, and then I've attached fishing line to each one. That's how I control them. By the way, these are wooden pickets. They're not Wilson pickets. <laughs> Good God, you <laughs> Ow. Ow. These fishing lines are all attached to my billboard control panel. This is where all the thinking came in. That took a while. Each line is attached to a ring here. And when I want to form a certain letter, I just pull that ring down to the peg across from that letter, and that turns my picket fence into a billboard. For example, let's say you got some new neighbors moving in next door, and you want to use your fence to say hello. <laughs> OK, but then maybe after they've lived there for a little while, you find out they like to fool around with firearms in the backyard. Well, that requires a change of signs. <laughs> Oh, wait, that, that's not right. <laughs> and then when you finally realize that these are really not your kind of people, don't sit on the fence. Let them know. <laughs> and it's just that easy. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs> Hey, Red Green here with a brand new one-man show. That last one wasn't a complete disaster, so we've decided to try it again with new stories, new jokes, new advice, and whatever else it is that I do. It's the How to Do Everything Tour, and it's going to start right here in Canada this coming fall. So get a couple of tickets for yourself, or you know, it would make a dandy gift for a friend or a relative. To get all the details, go to redgreen.com and click on the How to Do Everything Tour. Meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>